as someone whose job it is to keep secrets, Gary Voss Smith may be the last person you'd expect to see on national TV. Doing this is a big jump for me, talking to the media. But he's now decided to make his fight public. The culture is there. The culture is there not to speak loudly about things, certainly not about work. This is different. This, this is a pandemic and this is lethal. Many of his colleagues work on sensitive files, so they have to come into the office. And for months, Voss Smith pushed for everyone at CSIS headquarters to wear a mask. But in November 2020, a supervisor had suggested he was being disrespectful. Though CSIS told Global News employees have been free and encouraged to give their input on workplace safety measures. We hear it time and again from the governments that we're in this together, and it didn't feel like that when I was facing reprisals. The mask is profound, but it's so simple to impose. Just wear a mask. In December, CSIS director David Vigneault wrote an email to Voss Smith saying most employees have opted to wear non-medical masks in the common areas, and he does not consider that mandatory enforcement is required. But fast forward to March, when CSIS was hit with COVID-19 outbreaks, and news emerged that Vigneault himself had tested positive, though the agency said he was infected outside the workplace. The next month, CSIS finally required all employees to wear a mask. You would have had a significant re risk reduction if they would have had masking all along. The agency told Global News that since the beginning of the pandemic, it's been following the guidance and advice of the Public Health Agency of Canada. CSIS also said it's been taking measures, including hand washing and physical distancing, to prevent the spread of COVID-19. This is not a, a national security issue. This is a health and safety issue. Voss Smith adds that his story shows CSIS employees are no different than anyone else trying to stay safe. Jasmine Pisano, Global News, Toronto.